show you the grasshopper component uh, for then the unfolding the sheet metal model in Rhino. So uh, you have to download then the uh, component from our website and then you unzip the file here and then put the two file into this directory here into this uh, component folder here that is actually the what is roaming grasshopper library here there's a two file here you have to put a two file for uh, version 7 and there's also a rhino 6 version so once you have uh, put in the two files in the right directory here and then you can go to the surface and then you see here this is actually then this is the component that you you can use to flat the sheet matter model so it's very simple here you create this one here and then you go to the parameter here and then set up the input parameter here this is actually the DRAP here and then you set up then this is actually the DRAP you have set and then you can just create the curve here to showing that you have a curve created here. But that is actually, and then you have, uh, you have to pass then this BRAP to the model here, SM parameter. And then they will create this uh, uh, flat model here for you. And then you can see here, this is actually the one that output curve. And uh, there's also uh, the text component then to showing that the the bending, the bending direction here. So, but here we didn't set the bending direction yet here. So, but we can do that here. So, and then you can have to create in the, uh, so pulling this parameter and then set this to true. And then you can just uh, use, create in the bending direction here. And then they will calculate the bending direction for you. And then you can flip, flip the bending direction here, right? So, and then they will just, here you can see here is up and down. And you can just uh, switch off this one here. So just uh, get rid of that here. And then there's other, uh, this is actually the, the fold line and the bending line is also showing here, but you can switch off this, uh, part, uh, this curve here. And default we set to true, and then you just uh, set this one to sh switch off then the uh, fault line. For the definition of the fault line here, please read the user guide. And then you have then the bending line here. So this is how you go bending line, switch off this one here. Yeah, and then you have the only the contour here, so you can use it, this. And the key factor is actually we use default, and this is actually the 0 0.5, you can adjust them here, right? It's very simple to use and uh, hope you like it here. If you have any question, please let me know and send us email. Thank you. Bye.